We turn now to our weekly segment, TikTok, where we interview our favorite TikTokers and get a look at the story behind the sensation. Our next guest is one of Gen Z's fastest growing stars, 19-year-old musician, actor, creator, and now filmmaker, Jacob Sartorius. Jacob has taken social media by storm with 39 million followers across all platforms. Jacob, welcome. Thank you for having me. This is awesome. Yeah, well, we're excited to have you. Your initial rise to social media fame started when you were just 11 years old. So in many ways, you've kind of grown up with your followers. What has that journey been like for you? It's been awesome. There's there's nothing that can describe it other than a, a beautiful adventure. And uh, yeah, we've, we've all, it, it feels like we've grown up together. We really mm -hmm. have, so it's and special. And you just released your first single of 2022, which got more than 80,000 streams just in the first week. Let's take a listen to Fear of Intimacy. I got a fear of intimacy. It's always living with me. I know you can't really see. I got some voices to please. Hey, Jacob, what inspired this song? Uh, these are... This is a song about some of my biggest fears, and uh, one of them happens to be a fear of intimacy. Uh, and the song names many others, but yeah, this is this is just real emotions and um, some of the things that I've struggled with for a while in finding deep, meaningful relationships. It's been difficult having these fears, but learning to overcome them and speak about them really helps. And, and I'm glad that people relate. It's interesting because you're talking about something that's so heavy and the idea of fear, um, but yet you've made it really kind of uplifting. And you also use your platform as a tool for education. You recently teamed up with Dr. Fauci to debunk COVID-19 myths. Why was that important for you to discuss that in particular with your followers? Well, I think that's something that has a lot of um, misconceptions and conspiracy theories online. And after doing the research and speaking to Dr. Fauci, I, I realized that it was the best decision um, to be vaccinated and that a lot of these myths online are nonsense and it's good to actually look into the facts and um, protect ourselves and not only ourselves, but those around us. And you recently released your documentary, Breath, in which you talk about your struggles with anxiety. What was that like to open up about something so personal? And what do you hope the viewers are able to, to take away from the film? It felt like letting people into my journal that I write in every day and um, bringing them along for an experience that allowed me to find inner peace that I didn't know lied within. And hopefully others can um, be put onto a resource of a natural healer, something as simple as breathing. I didn't know that something as simple as breathing, because it's a free resource, can bring so much peace and um, happiness that I didn't have currently. And so for the people who are outside of the 39 million who follow you, who didn't see or haven't seen uh, some of what you've, you've done and put out there, especially about anxiety, what's one tip that, that you might give somebody who's suffering from anxiety right now? I would just say to uh, be patient and kind to yourself and uh, treat yourself like you would a best friend. Be kind to yourself. And um, as well, there's so many great resources. If I were you, I'd look into the Wim Hof Method. It's helped me a lot uh, personally with anxiety and cold showers, cold exposure, shocking the body, getting out of our comfort zone has allowed me to uh, do things that I otherwise wouldn't be able to do because fear was in the way. So um, I, I, hopefully those are some good resources. There's many others as well but I'm still learning and figuring them out along the way. And now that fear is moving out of the way or out of the way altogether, what do you see yourself doing in the future? I mean, you've already done so much and you're just 19, um, but, but what's, I dare I say next for you? Cause you've kind of done it all. Uh, uh, just keep finding ways to stay excited about what I'm doing. Um, whether that's filmmaking, it's acting, it's making music, um, different ways to express and share universal emotions um, that can relate to others all over. I think that's like what makes this so special is that through the internet, through these different mediums, we're able to connect and have a, a direct impact on people. Keep going. I feel that connection, just talking to you right now, I feel a little younger, I feel a little more energized, I feel a little more excited about what is my next project gonna be? So thank you for that, Jacob, and thank you for your time tonight. Jacob's Thanks. latest single, Fear of Intimacy, is out right now. Thanks so much, Jacob. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.